Russ W. Oker, Go Hills TV. We're powered by Winger Companies. And our post-game interview now with Coach Anthony Longo. The Warriors go to 9-0 and on the season. And we knew the other night this is going to be kind of a similar contest as what we had against Northeast. Maybe not as physical, I don't know, but a pretty good soccer team you beat tonight. Yeah, they're, they're a good team. Um, they, were, they were very structured, very disciplined. Um, you know, a lot of times they didn't really sit. I don't want to say they sat back. But they waited for us to play, waited for us to make mistakes and tried to capitalize on it. So we had a hard time getting going in the first half. Just simple passing. Again, a lot of breakdowns, a lot of just simple errors that we cleaned up in the second half. Um, and we were much better from there. Yeah, the second half a lot better. Uh, talk to me about the change in the goal. Westfall and Anderson, I know you like them both. Uh, Anderson, we got our first look anyway on Go Hills. Was that her first action of the year? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we wanted to uh, kind of give her a shot before uh, the big conference game starts. So, um, you know, I thought it was a good time. She's been working this week, uh, and, you know, the plan was to give them both a half and see how it went. So, liked what I saw. Liked what I, I like what I, I like what I see out of both of them. Um, it's going to be a great battle to see uh, uh, who wins the spot. And, um, you know, I think... As long as they're competing, as long as they're embracing it, you know the team's going to be better for it. All right, talk about uh, Bailey Weeman again. Another big night for her. It seems like that's the kind of what we talk about after every game. Yeah, she uh, she she had a good game today. Um, she was on it a lot in the first half. Didn't really get a lot of clear cut chances. Uh, second half, we were able to get the ball on the ground quite a bit more uh, and find her a little bit. And obviously, she exploded for uh, you know two big goals in that second half. So. And she was on it. Uh, it's the problem that we have, you know, is a lot of times just trying to find that pass to her. Um, you know, she she works hard. She puts herself in the right spots. But again, we just few errors, um, and we cleaned it up in the second half. And you know, we were able to get our better players going. Seemed like in the second half. Now maybe it's just because it's across the way from me in the first half. But maybe we saw something in the first half we tried to expose in the second half with K.J. Schmidt running up that side and trying to get that through ball to her. She had a great opportunity one time. They sniffed it out, but it looked like we were going back to that several times. Was that an adjustment at halftime, or did I just not pick up on that in the first half? No, it was definitely an adjustment. Um, the simple mistake was our forwards were checking in, um, but they our outside backs weren't getting up. So uh, there's just no communication first half uh, all over the field. So. You know, when a player checks in, they got to be communicating, let them know that they, the other one's got to get forward. So we played, you know, we had a lot of the ball, but we just kind of played with it on our half the whole time. We really were afraid to go forward, um, and the movements weren't there. So we had to straighten a few things out, um, you know, go over some, some basic things uh, that we talk about at halftime. And, again, we just like Bailey, just like KJ, Reese is here, we got our better players going in that second half. This Saturday, we've got Iowa Lakes coming to town, and in a week from then, then we, don't, we don't play again until we play Iowa Western. Mm -hmm. Any concern uh, that the girls will start thinking ahead? No. The, at the end of the day, we're, we start talking about, you know, this is our first meaningful game Saturday. So that's all our focus on. You know, we can consider this preseason. We can consider it, you know, whatever we want. We did our job. We're 9-0, we're and 0, um, and we've looked good doing it. But here's what really matters, you know. We, we kind of talk about it that uh, – you know, it's, it's a whole new season. We have zero stats. We have zero wins, zero shutouts, zero anything. So we really have to focus in on Saturday, and that's where we kind of go in and start making our statement. So I'm happy with where we're at. But, yeah, the focus now um, is we have to take care of this game tonight, and then now we focus on Saturday. All right, Coach Anthony Longo. And his Indian Hills Warriors, 9-0 and Saturday. Big one. Iowa Lakes comes to town. We'll be here at 1 o'clock. This is Go Hills TV. We're powered by Winger Companies.